Welcome everyone, here's how you log the screen on your iPhone. So the first step is open up the settings app. You're then gonna find accessibility. If you don't see accessibility here, tap into general, then you'll see accessibility. Then you want to scroll all the way down until you see guided access. Tap on this one, tap the toggle to turn on guided access. Tap on the toggle to turn on accessibility shortcuts. If this option is already on, tap on it to turn it off and on because sometimes it glitches out. Then go back, tap on accessibility shortcuts and make sure guided access is at the top. If it's not at the top, long press on those triple lines and drag it up. And make sure any other option here, which may be ticked, you untick. Then you want to go back, find touch, then find assistive touch. Make sure assistive touch is turned off. Make sure these custom actions are all set to none okay make sure on the customized top level menu everything is removed okay so just tap on the minus until there's one option left assistive touch may cause issues with guided access you know, sometimes it just doesn't work so if that's the case doing the following will solve any issues with guided access not working now you want to open up an apple choice so let's say uh look clock app okay i want to look the clock app sure so from here to activate guided access, you either triple click the power button on an iPhone without a home button, or you triple click the home button, with an iPhone with the home button. You'll see guided access, you have the options here. So you can turn on or off all these options right here, okay? If it's on, that means motion's gonna be on, etc. You turn it off, motion will be off, okay? You can also circle areas of the touchscreen you would like to disable, if you only want to disable certain parts of the touchscreen. But if you want to disable the whole touch screen, you can just tap on this toggle to turn off touch, like so. Once you're ready, tap on start. It wants a passcode. Enter in the passcode for your iPhone, okay? If you're giving this to a child and the child already knows the passcode, or you're giving this to someone else and they, uh, they already know the passcode, set a different passcode, okay? Because then they're just going to enter it in and <laughs> regain access. And then from here, I can't slide up to go home. I can't access control center, notification center. Volume buttons aren't working. If I click the power button, it just says guided access is enabled, okay? It doesn't do anything, it doesn't lock the device. So in order to get out of guided access, we need to triple click power or triple click home button. It will ask for the passcode. That's the same one we entered in earlier. You just find end and guided access has now been ended. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.